Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. Right now we're focused on whole number computation and we're gonna look at how to do subtraction with the partial differences model. So we have a subtraction problem right here. Here we go, 714 minus 386. And with the partial differences model, we are going to work from left to right. So sometimes that helps students where that this kind of like switch from working to right to left is a little bit confusing. And we're also going to emphasize a lot of place value here. So let me show you how this strategy works. So we have 714 minus 386. The first thing we're going to do is thinking about subtracting 7 minus 3. But it's not 7 minus 3. This is 700 minus 300. 700 minus 300 is 400. So I'll go ahead and write my 400 right there underneath the equal line. Now I'm going to multiply one, or not multiply, I'm sorry, we're subtracting. Now I'm going to subtract one minus eight. But it's not one minus eight, it's 10 minus 80. Now we have to think about our number line here. What happens when we have 10 and we subtract 80? 10 minus 80 is negative 70. So I'll write that right there. Now we have four minus six. Four minus six is negative two. So I'll put that right there. Now I'm going to uh, calculate uh, the um, difference to this subtraction problem. So 400 minus 70 is 330. 330 minus two would be 328. Now if your students need to, you can do some of the work to the side of the problem, that's totally fine. Or you can just leave your work just like that. So that's how you think about using the partial differences model with subtraction with multi-digit numbers. Thank you so much for tuning into this Stair Tailored. I'll get to my last slide right now.